Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with a shoe collection video. I have seen a lot of these floating about and I absolutely love them. Shoes are my big guilty pleasure and also a necessity for dry feet and well looked after feet. But I thought I would show you some of my favourites in my wardrobe. I'm standing here with my wardrobe just here. Um, and this is where my shoes are kept, so I'm going to show you a little bit about where I keep them, the storage, and also some of my favourite pairs and all the rest of it. So yeah, let's get going. So firstly, I thought I'd talk you through my most sentimental pairs of shoes. When it comes to clothes and fashion, I'm a very, very sentimental person. I hold on to everything. I think my mum's got things from when I was a baby, when I was a teenager, I hold on to anything that still fits me, I will have in my wardrobe because, I don't know, I'm just like, maybe one day I'll need this. I've got that horrible mindset. Um, so my wardrobe is kind of like a museum of me, it's just got stuff from years ago that I will never wear again, but I like to have handy. Um, mostly with shoes I tend to kind of pass them along or get rid of them, but there's two pairs in my wardrobe that I've picked out that I just could not get rid of. And the first pair are these ones from Topshop. I'm sure a lot of you who are as frequent in Topshop as I am will remember these. Um, they want the sticker on the bottom because I always had the name on it, but when I worked in Topshop about five or six years ago I wore these shoes all the time and these literally probably one of my first kind of pairs I ever bought um, aside from working in the shop they were my first kind of like I don't know like a pair of heels that I bought I was in sick form I was studying and I took these to uni for the brief time that I was there and I love these if you have read my blog since the beginning you might recognize these I will put a link down below for, for lols but I've just held on to these, I haven't worn them in years, um, they're very very high, they're very comfortable but I just can't bear to get rid of them because of that sentiment and because of how long I've had them but I absolutely love these and I definitely will keep hold of them for a long time. The next pair of shoes are probably my most uncomfortable pair of shoes but also another pair of sentimental heels. These are these ones from Topshop and these are velvet shoes with a bow, they're kind of like Disney princess shoes, they're a bit like Snow Whitey. But I got these probably about six years ago um, when I was shortlisted at Cosmo Blog Awards and I'd never experienced anything like it and I was like, I must buy a pair of shoes and I dug out my student loan and I was like, I've got to afford these and I bought these and these are possibly one of my favourite pairs of shoes. I wore them and I wore them again at an another year and they are possibly the most uncomfortable thing. I remember running for a train at Waterloo East and my toes were just screaming and I was like I can't fork in these but I absolutely love them I cannot get rid of them they've not had a lot of wear for that reason but again because they are just so special to me I just can't get rid of them um, and yeah I'm just gonna keep holding them forever great moving on to my most worn styles of shoes um, I am a big flats wearer I don't really wear heels at all um, I don't really have a big selection either the kind of heels I have are quite novelty which you'll see in a minute but the shoes I wear the most and the kind of shoes I'm willing to invest in are primarily flats because I know I will wear them all year round and if I can wear them with tight, steam skirts, it's a yes from me. So, I thought I'd talk you through the kind of three pairs of flats I just cannot stop wearing. The first being ballet flats. I have about two pairs of these, these are from Topshop and these are the pair they have there all year round never go into sale, they're about £16 and they are perfect. I wear them all the time and they just go with everything. They're great to throw on if you need to run to the shops, you need to get a train, you need to do absolutely everything. They're just a really good flat shoe. They're kind of easier to get on and off than trainers but I just love having these. They're kind of like my flip flops for all year round but I absolutely love these. For that reason, it leads me on to the next thing which is probably my most recent purchase and my kind of most fancy shoe purchase. And it is these Chanel flats. Um, I kind of feel a bit indifferent about buying really fancy shoes because I have really wide feet and I kind of, I feel like I mess up shoes quite easily because of the way I'm stomping about all the time like a grubby toddler. But because I wear ballet flats all the time and I've heard so many amazing things, I thought I would invest in the Chanel ballet flats. Um, I bought these at Heathrow Airport um, because they were significantly cheaper still not cheap obviously but I feel like these are the kind of shoes I will wear and have for years um, I was really keen to get the all black pair because I know they'll go with tights I can wear them in the winter um, and they're just a really good all round piece I love the nude ones as well but I didn't think they'd go as nicely with tights and things so I really tried to be quite sensible about these because I know they are quite an indulgent purchase and I don't know I really want to take good care of them because they are so so beautiful for that but yeah I love a good flat shoe so 
So moving straight on to heels, I don't really have a huge selection. All the ones I do have are really kind of out there shoes. I don't really buy heels unless they are exceptionally special to me or for a really special occasion. I realised earlier this year that I needed a black pair of simple court shoes and I was like, I do not have any. I don't have anything sensible. Um, I actually did pick up these, which are from Zara. These are about £20 um, and these are definitely my most worn heels. They're kind of black patent kind of chunky heel, kind of a chunky sole, and they just are great for everything. They're great with crop jeans, skinny jeans, dresses. They're a good just all-rounder heel. They kind of give a bit of height, they can be quite formal, but they can also be quite casual if paired with the right thing. And these are the kind of thing that I think, like, if they were more expensive, I'd be willing to invest in them because they're just such a good all-round piece. So I really love these. But pointing you in the direction of the kind of heels I do have a lot of, which are impractical novelty heels, I pulled out these two for my wardrobe. So firstly is these office ones, which I absolutely love. They're a little bit nuts. Um, I bought these for a wedding and I really love them. I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to wear them again because they're so out there. They've got this really lovely raffia kind of um, what's the, like platform. Get my words out then. And then they've got a little flamingo on the front. They are definitely a statement shoe. They're kind of Charlotte Olympia-esque, but they're from office. And I just think they're really cool and I can't bear to get rid of them for that reason. Um, I don't know how much more wear I'll get out of them because of the fact they are flamingo shoes. But I really love those. I also have these shoes from Topshop which I absolutely love. And again, they're not the most practical shoe. They don't go with a lot of things. But I bought these for Christmas maybe about four years ago because I was like, they're like my David Bowie shoes. Look at them. They're really cool. Um, and again, they're not the most comfortable because as you can see, they're so on a, such a slant there that I'm just like tottering around. I'm not the most elegant in heels either, but again, I have lots of pairs of shoes like this that I just cannot get rid of because of how cool they are. And I think the fact that they're novelty means that I probably won't be able to get them again. So I'm just like, oh no, I have to hoard them. But really love these and yeah, I don't know, maybe they'll come back around. Who knows? So on the flip side, I thought I would show you kind of most timeless pair of shoes I have in my wardrobe and that is this pair of Russell and Bromley brogues. I got these for Christmas last year which I was very very spoiled with um, and they have got like a little black patent toe cap and it's kind of almost kind of snake skin kind of looking um, patent top half and then they've also got a black suede kind of I don't know I don't know the analogy of a shoe I don't know all these different elements to it but They've got a lot of different textures going on, Ooh. Um, and I just really love them. They're a really great time of shoe that goes with jeans. They're quite cool for the kind of mannish Christine and the Queens that when you've got a suit on and some amazing shoes, they just look absolutely awesome. And again, Russ and Bromley shoes are such amazing quality. They last for absolutely ages. Um, I remember when I saved up for my first pair, which was probably their loafers, when I was at school, and I wore them to death. I literally wore them until they fell apart. Um, which looked really attractive but for now I have these in my wardrobe and I just think like a pair of brogues go with everything they look really cute with like little girly dresses so they kind of toughen up a little bit but still in quite a classic modern way so yeah I absolutely cherish these and they're still in really good knack which I'm really chuffed about so moving on to probably my favourite pair of shoes in my wardrobe these don't actually sit in my wardrobe because I love them so much I want them on display all the time and it's these boots from Camilla Elphick, who is one of my favourite shoe designers. She is absolutely incredible. She does primarily heels, I'd say. They have these amazing like Pez heels on them. Um, but she has got a really beautiful range of boots. And this silver pair I bought at the beginning of this year, actually. And they've got like a kind of a golden arrow at the back. And they're just this really, really soft leather, which is absolutely amazing. They are so comfortable and they just look really cool with everything. I wear them with jeans. Um, I'll pop some outfit posts below so you can kind of get an idea about how I've styled them because obviously when you first look at them, they're out there. They're not the most subtle boot and I think that's quite intimidating. But um, there's a lot of high street shops that have similar options at the moment, which I will also talk about um, in the description because I don't know, I think silver boots are a really cool way of kind of snazzing up an outfit if you're not really sure what to pair things with. I think if you've got a really kind of simple all black outfit on or some denim. These just add a little bit of pizzazz, which is kind of a bit of a nana thing to say. But um, yeah, I really love these. They're probably one of my favourite items I've ever bought. They were definitely a bit of a spend. Um, but I think I got them on sale and now they've gone back up to full price. So I'm really chuffed with those actually. And yeah, absolutely love these. Last but not least, I thought I'd talk you through my trainer collection. There is not a big amount of trainers. A few of which are downstairs, so I'm just gonna quickly 
lightly glaze over those because they are the Converse All Stars, the high tops which everyone knows and loves and I also recently bought a pair of Vans, the classic skate shoe, um, which I don't actually feel cool enough to wear but they are really really cool, they look great with everything. Um, I try not to wear them with kick flare jeans too much because I feel a little bit like I'm busted but they're kind of similar to this which I have got upstairs and these I got from Bashka and they are just kind of a pale pink kind of nod to the van shoe. Um, these are also really comfortable, I like these because they're a little bit more girly, a little bit softer, um, but I don't really have a huge trainer collection. I do have these, I love my Keds and Supagas, um, I like the kind of classic plimsoll look because they're just great for summer, great with jeans. And I've also got this pair which are actually from Anthropology. Um, they are by a brand called Ve Veja, V-E-J-A, Veja, Veja, definitely Veja probably, but um, these I absolutely love. I actually just read an article before I did this video, not even putting two and two together until this moment, where Emma Watson's worn a pair of their trainers, which are apparently the next big thing. So, aren't I a bit of flash? Um, um, I really love these. Again, not the most subtle shoe, but I think when I wear trainers, I like them to be kind of a bit of an addition to an outfit, opposed to something that I just wear for comfort. Um, I do have my gym shoes, but they're probably not for this video. But yeah, really, really like those. They're very comfortable as well, which is definitely what I go for in a pair of trainers. So yeah, very fancy. So that is that. I really hope you enjoyed this mini kind of shoe collection video. Um, I hope I touched on them enough or didn't ramble too much. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and let me know what other kind of videos you'd like to see, if this was the kind of thing you'd like to, to watch. I don't know, like, give me a heads up. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, subscribe if you did and I will see you next time. Thank you.